Dude, these guys say that they're going to ship 10 new Urbit apps to the network in seven days from now. Are they fucking crazy? I honestly can't tell if these guys are nuts or if they're just really fucking good and fast coders or what. There were a lot of like, I would say complex tasks. It's just bug, bug bashing. I feel like this is where the, like the Illuminati planned something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Minesweeper is getting done tonight and then on to Chronicle. Honestly, they rented this beautiful mansion in the hills to the west of Austin, downtown. I'm looking at the skyline, it's beautiful right now. I can't tell what I've gotten myself into. Is this some kind of Adderall-fueled gay sex polycule? Or are these guys just wholesome, super coding warriors trying to restore dignity to humans' relationship with technology? All right, it's 8.30 a.m., December 5th. This is the first day of the Hollyum Hacker House here in Austin. I'm driving across the city. It's out in the Westlake Hills. It's a massive, beautiful mansion. I'm super excited to see it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go out there and work with the boys all day. Holy shit, this place is amazing. This is like a, a legit mansion. Austin Hills style. Just so we can focus on one like, computer type. Yeah. Rather than having like Windows and Mac issues yes. popping up. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll, but I mean, obviously, you guys will be using it with like Windows mm. um, or Linux. Yeah. But in terms of like the polish, like the first class that people will be using will probably be uh, on Mac, at least for the first like few weeks. And then we'll open it up to Windows and Linux after. Cool. Tell us the apps that are going to be shipped according to your plan on 1212. Well, Realm, the whole the whole app, Realm. Um, we're gonna have Ingram, we're gonna have Lexicon, we're gonna have Minesweeper, we're gonna have Chronicle, we're gonna have Trove. We're gonna have a uh, revamped campfire and a re revamped ballot. And you're gonna get all that done in 10 days? Yes. How many guys are here total? Uh, total, we have 10 people in, in the Hollyham House and the only thing we'll take at the end of the week is perfection, so. Well, this is, this is more apps shipping on one day than the Urban Network has ever seen in its history. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. What's the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is coordinating the whole thing, actually. So we have this very sophisticated mechanism um, where we just write down each feature set and all the things to do. And then over there, we're starting to flesh out that there. We have one over here on this little uh, picture and we have one on the wall here. And then if you come over here, this is where, this is like the, the round table where we'll be doing a lot of programming um, I feel like the UI guys are going to come in here, so. This room is sexy. <laughs> I know. I feel like this is where the, like, the Illuminati planned something. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> awesome. All right. Killer. Sweet. Um, this is here. Whoa. I know. Look at the, you can, when the fog is clear, you see just downtown Austin oh, yeah. here. It's kind of cool. Honestly, the fog is pretty dope. It is. It's, it's sort of moody. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the English countryside. Yeah. And then come check out the bathroom. It's crazy. Whoa. It's like a... Yeah. And so, come check this out. Down here is the best part. This is kind of the opposite of SBS Polycule. <laughs> this is like a military barracks. <laughs> All right, Thomas, so you were one of the guys who found out about this through my content, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you think so far about this crew? What's your impression, first impressions? Oh, it's a good crew, everybody. Super cool, super excited to be here to be building uh, cool stuff, good punching bag in the, in the basement. So. It seems like there's a shit ton to do in just seven days. Are you gonna make it? Is this really realistic? Um, yeah, it's, it does, definitely seems like a lot, but I mean, I'm uh, very confident. Put together crew here, but it's definitely uh, it might come down to the water. We'll see.
Oh, he's having a, we're getting to like 8.50 or something. Nice. Where, where's the dungeon where you put underperforming coders? Um, well, they get in the, in the freezing cold pool. Nice, okay. Uh, they have to do like ice, ice cold baths. All right, look, I gotta be honest. I, gotta, I don't want them to hear this, but I don't know that they're gonna be able to deliver all of these things. I mean, I know some of these things are already far along and they've made progress on these things before this hack week, but this is uh, an insane amount of work and things always take longer than you think they're going to take. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I like these guys a lot and I, I believe in them, but I mean, there were also a few things that Trent didn't even mention, like the Ethereum wallet in the realm desktop app and also the iOS app. There's a realm iOS app that is going to do direct messaging that integrates with the Realm desktop app. So I don't, I don't know. There's only one way to tell. I'm gonna be hanging out here and shooting some video. I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of it. And we're gonna follow every day of this week. We're gonna, we're gonna see how progress is being made, if they're gonna make it or if they're not gonna make it. I honestly don't know at this point. I'm confident in them. I, I, I'm definitely rooting for them. I wanna see them make it. But it just seems like an insane, almost impossible amount of work to get done in just seven days. So we're gonna try to see. What, what's going to what's gonna happen. I honestly have no clue. So subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting videos throughout the week until launch day on 12-12, December 12th. All right, it's 4.48. What did you get done today? Um, I refactored the whole um, wallet service in Realm. Um, so just a lot of code reorganization. Okay. Refactoring sounds productive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, boring, nice. But how are you feeling? Do you feel like you're off to a good start? You feel like you're going to hit your goals for the week? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Once this is this is done, it's just bug bug bashing. All right, love it. <laughs> All right, Trent, what did you get done today? I almost have Minesweeper done. So it's basically integrated with Spaces. I just need one scry done, and then uh, I have to get it working with the different context switching in different spaces. But yeah, Minesweeper is getting done tonight. All right. And then on to Chronicle. Nice. So you're pleased with the progress. Oh yeah. yeah you're yeah. feeling good. You feel like we're, you're going to hit all your goals. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great environment. Easy to get work done here. Yeah. It's, it's been great. Symbolically linked, uh, the symbolic link guide in the dev setup. And if you haven't done that, it just like doesn't build. Oh, okay. So he just like, he just included it in the actual project. He said pulled the PR in because it also decrements Kelvin. All right, Trent. Project. So it's about six o'clock. Give us the executive summary on the workday so far. The first official workday. Um, I think the first workday went very well. Uh, there was there were a lot of like, I would say complex tasks that are being worked on right now, um, and those are wrapping up. And once those are wrapped up, really all that's left is bug fixing and polish. So, you know, Trent uh, he found a bug earlier where when you update our config.realm file to like change the resolution of which your app opens. It doesn't actually catch that update. It only gets it when you install the app. So now we have to do like a very quick fix to every time you update mm -hmm. an app, it will ask like essentially query out and say, what is what is the latest like resolution that this person wants? Okay, um, nice. And then we'll, we'll load that in. And what's the game plan for the evening hours? Well, I think the game plan for the evening hours will probably be uh, cooking uh, a bunch of burgers and sausages. Nice. And then after that, we'll probably uh, I think we're, we're going to test some stuff, right? We're going to be testing some some rooms. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool.